Let's see. So far, it's just Oops. all right. Just one more moment. I apologize for the delay. Okay. Welcome. Happy Friday. Um, just a couple just general reminders. If you need props, by all means, gather props. Um, I do have dogs. They are around. At some point, you may hear them. Um, I apologize for that. They get to be a little bit too rowdy. This is my husband, Chris. He will be joining us for this practice today. And um, I do send out a playlist. If you would like to utilize that playlist, I post it on the Melting Points actual Facebook page. I also post it on my own personal Facebook and Instagram page as well. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. Finding yourself on your back. So coming to a supine position. You can decide maybe feet together, knees wide, just maybe legs down long. Wherever you are, close your eyes and just find this moment of still. Allowing the breath to flow naturally, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the nose. And then working to lengthen the breath. So start to expand the inhale, and then releasing fully on the exhale. We'll take about three more just like this. And last breath, inhale in and exhale out. And then take the legs if they're not already there, send them out long. It's a full body stretch. Reach the hands up and over the head, interlacing at the fingers. And then keeping the left leg long, draw the right leg in towards you. You're gonna hold onto the back of the thigh, interlace the fingers, curl the knee in nice and close. You're gonna extend the leg up towards the sky as you flex the foot, and then bend the knee and point the toes down towards the glute. Same thing, flex the heel up towards the sky as you straighten, and then bend and point down. Last time, extend the leg up high, straighten, flex the toes down towards the shin. And then just hold. An option to walk the hands up a little bit higher on the leg, working to keep the head and shoulders down, pressing the knee forward. Last few breaths. And then bend into the knee, point the toes down towards the glute once more, release the hold, take the arms out into a T or cactus, just drop the knee over towards your left side. Last few years. And then draw back in towards the midline. Keep the knee into the chest. Left hand comes to left hip. These fingers are hand to the outside of your right foot or big toe. Half happy baby, encouraging that knee towards them. And then gently release the right leg. Extend the hands up overhead. It's that full body stretch here. 
And then left leg curls in towards you. You interlace the fingers behind the thigh. Curl it in nice and close towards the chest. Point the toes down. Now extend the leg up towards the sky. Flex the foot. And then bend and point the toes down. Extend it up towards the sky. Flex the foot. And bend and point down. One last time here. You should activate that hamstring. Feel it as you extend up. Flex the toes down. Hold there. Option to walk the hands up a little bit higher on the leg, really just encouraging the shoulders to be relaxed and chin not up, chin relaxing now. And then bend into the knee, release the hold wherever you have, arms out in T. You're going to drop that knee over towards the right side as you look off to your left. And then come back into center. Keep that leg in nice and close. It's half happy baby, holding wherever suits you. Right hand to your hip, though. We want to encourage that hip. And then releasing the left leg, meeting it to the right. Last time here, reach the hands up overhead. Big inhale. And on the exhale, both knees curl into the chest, holding onto the back of the thighs, rocking all the way up to seated, crossing at the shins. Take the hands and reach them up towards the sky. And then right palm down, left palm reach up and over, find extension. And then back in at center, on the exhale, we just simply switch. Right glute ground down, reach over through the right. And then back there, center, reach the hands up towards the sky. On the exhale, palms come to the top of the mat. We're gonna send our weight back. So knees at the middle of the mat, palms face down, fingers forward. We'll find cat cow. Inhale as you look up, drop the belly. Exhale, round, press them out away. Same thing here. Inhale, lift the gaze. And then exhale, we rest. Last one. Inhale, look up. Exhale, gaze towards your knees. Press the hands down. And then finding that neutral spine, you're going to tuck the toes and find yourself in a plank. Think about the biceps wrapping forward, triceps wrapping back. We hold for two more. And last one. Utilize lower abdominals to shift the hips back, downward facing dog. Bending into your right leg, hold there. And then bend into the opposite. So left knee bends, right heels down. And then just finding some general movement, maybe you pedal from side to side, or you find one Achilles or one hamstring that's a little tighter than the other, and you just hold there. And then working towards stillness. Press your chest back. Can you spread the fingers a little wider? Press to the L part of the palm. And then you're gonna walk all the way to the top of the mat. It's a forward fold. Halfway lift and lengthen. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Palms working to touch and then drop your chest. Option, a little bend in the knees. Try to bring some weight forward. And last one. And then release the bind of the arms. It's chair. Keep the feet separated. Reach the hands up towards the sky. See if you can sink the hips one inch lower. Start to get that engagement navel into the spine. And then we stand. Palms come by the sides. Tadasana, close your eyes. Take a moment here. We set the intention. What's your intention for your own practice today? Maybe it's just a moment back for yourself. Maybe it's a moment to just release everything else that's going on. And then flutter the eyes open, bring the hands to prayer at heart center, reach the hands up towards the sky, exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm them out, we step it back, plank. Shift the weight all the way forward, lower down to the belly, untuck the toes. Little lift up, so it's baby cobra. See if you can peel the fingertips off the mat. And then exhale, release it down. Tuck your toes, lift up into a plank. And then send it high, downward facing dog. Walking to the top of the mat, it's that forward fold. Halfway lift and lengthen. Finding the hands behind your drop back, drop your chest down. We'll hold for two more. And last one. Keeping the feet separated, bend the knees further, release the bind, sweep the hands up. It's that chair stance. Navel in, hips tucked up. And then release, we fold it. Inhale, reach the hands up towards the sky. Exhale to fold that center. Halfway lift, palm the mat, we step it back into a plank. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, hold there, drop your right hip down, look up your left shoulder. And then over to the opposite. And then come back to your center. 
Tuck the toes, utilize the core, we lift, downward facing up. Extending the right leg up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, knee to nose. And how to extend it high. Knee taps the left elbow, you hold it, breathe for five, four, three, two. Extend that leg up towards the sky. Set the foot in between the hands. Lifting the fingertips off the mat, hover the chest. And then drop the back knee down. Keep the toes tucked under, just interlace the fingers behind your head. See if you can lift the chest up without dipping the hips forward quite yet. And then bring the chest more to neutral, lift your back knee up. Gaze forward, you're gonna feel that left hip flexor ignite. Right elbow slightly down, left elbow high. And then chest back through center, reach the hands up towards the sky. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes, Palm the mat, start to straighten out the right leg. Toes towards the sky. Drop your chest, unfold. Halfway lift and lengthen. Pull the right hip back. Exhale, fold to release. Bending into the right leg, tuck your back toes under. Lift the knee. Palm the mat, it's right knee to nose. Extend the right leg back long. Stay in that one-legged plank. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hips high. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose, nice and slow. Inhale to extend it up. Knee to right elbow, twist and hold it for five, four, three, two. Reach that leg up towards the sky. Step left foot in between the hands. You're at that runner's lunge shape. Lift your fingertips off the mat. Can you hover the chest but keep that front knee nice and bent? Drop the back knee, keep the toes tucked under, interlace the fingers behind your head, just lift the chest, elbows roll back. And then chest to neutral, lift the back knee up, press energy through that right heel. And then reach the hands up towards the sky. Palm the mat, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes, straighten out your left leg and fold, chest to thigh. Halfway lift and lengthen, zip the left hip back and fold to release. Bending into the left leg, tuck your back toes, lift the knee, palm the mat, it's left knee to nose. Extend left leg long, keep it lifted, shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. High and back, downward facing dog. Taking the right leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. Inhale to extend it high. Knee to left elbow, touch it, hold it. Then thread it underneath your left arm. It's fall and star. Right palm stays down. Drop your back heel, reach your left hand up towards the sky. Now drop your glutes to the mat. Take your left hand and reach it over towards that left leg and fold. So both hands meet it and fold to release. Halfway lift and lengthen. Pull the right shoulder blade forward, left back, and then fold. And then come all the way back. Right hand to the outside of the right glute. Lift your hips up, reach that left hand up and over your ear. And then left palm to the mat, draw right knee to nose. Extend the leg up towards the sky. Step the right foot in between the hands, traditional high crescent as we rise. Reach the arms up. Adding on, warrior two. Heel to heel alignment, make sure you're not reaching forward or back. Take your left hand to your hip, encourage it down. Left hand hip, right hand reaches up and over your ear. And then both hands straddle the front leg, lift your back heel up. Left hand down, right hand up towards the sky. <laughs> right hand outside of the foot, send the back leg forward, it's pyramid chest to that right thigh, fold it out. And then left leg meets the right. It's chair, ukatasa, so heels should be touching. Reach the hands up towards the sky. Hands come to prayer at heart center, left elbow taps it to the right only, and then come back through center. Utilize the core, twist, and then back through center. One more time, twist it and hold it. Really hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh. Sink the hips one inch lower. Come back through center, reach the hands up. Grounding through your right leg, it's airplane. It's the left leg. Extend it long back behind you. Reach the palms back. And then left foot, lower to the back of the mat. You're still on that hover with the chest. Palm the mat, it's right knee to nose. So we've been here, extend it long. And now curl the right knee in. Only right leg long, and then curl it in. One more time, right leg long, 
Shift it forward, chaturanga, hold it. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards this guy. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend it up towards this guy. Tap it to the right elbow, hold it. Now thread it under, fall and star. Left hand down, right hand reaches up towards this guy. Drop your hips all the way down. Reach towards that right leg, lengthen and then fold it up. Find the lift of the chest, pull the right shoulder back, and then fold to release to your degree. Big windmill, it's all the way to the front of the roof. Left hand outside of the glute, lift the hips up. Right hand drops back down to the mat, it's left knee to nose. To extend that leg up towards the sky. Set the left foot in between the hands, high crescent. Rise, reach the hands up. Warrior two, heel to heel alignment. Think about the shoulders in line with the hips. Right hand to the back hip, encourage it down as you reach that left hand up and over. And then both hands straddle the front leg, lift the back heel, we twist, left hand up towards the side. Left hand outside of the foot, send the back leg forward, pyramid. Think about the chest dropping down. Grounding through your left leg, right leg meets it, it's chair, Utkatasana, reach the hands up. Hands come to prayer, right elbow taps to the left twist, and then come through center. Bring it out through the floor, and then come through center. Last time, twist and hold it. Think about the left shoulder rolling open. And then come back through center, reach the hands up towards the sky. Rounding through that left leg this time, it's the right leg. Extending back, palms face the midline, fingertips reach up. Bend the left leg, drop the right toes down to the mat, and then palm the mat. It's left knee to nose. Extend it long. Now curl it in like you're crunching it in, and then reach it long. Curl it in, and then extend. We'll do one more. Knee in, and then extend and hold it. Shift it forward, chaturanga hold. Roll it through, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, hips high and back. Let me continue to add on. Right leg extends up towards this guy. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend it high. Thread it under the left arm, option to keep it lifted. It's fallen star. Left hand reaching up. And then drop the palm to the mat. It's knee to nose. Extend that leg up. Set the foot in between the hands. It's warrior two. Back heel down, arm open. Left hand to the hip, right hand reaches back. It's a little different than down here. Bring your hand up to the back. And then both hands out of the front leg, lift your back heel, we twist it, right hand out towards the side. Right hand outside of the foot, drop pyramid, drop the chest. And then left foot meets the right, it's chair, Utkatasana, sweep it up. Hands kind of prayer, we twist to the right. Option, maybe you stay just like this, right? Hips nice and low. Maybe you come off of your heels, stay on the toes, bring your palms to the mat, start to work on your side row, right? Toes lifted. Wherever you are, you hold for five, four, three, two, and then if the feet are lifted, ground would be starting to press me down, but it's a harder. Everyone's in that side, side stance. Now back through center, sweep the hands up towards the sky. Right leg grounded, it's airplane. Left leg kicks back. And now send left foot to the back of the mat. You've been here, chest low. Palm the mat. It's right knee to nose. It's three times, right leg long back, and then utilize the core to crunch it in. It's back, and then a big crunch in. One more. Big crunch in and hold it. Left hand down, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Keep that top leg lifted. Find your balance. That's the hard part, right? And then take that right foot, step it to the outside edge of the mat, and left leg mirrors. It's velocity. And center prayer. You can sway from side to side. Get a little bit here into the hips. We haven't really worked that space. Think about the heels grounded. We're going to take a few more breaths. Last two. And last one. Palm the mat. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. Shift it forward. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Hips back. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. And how to extend it long. Fall and start. Option to keep that foot lifted this time. Maybe it grounds, right? And that's fine. Right hand reaches up towards this guy. Right palm to the mat. 
knee to nose, extend that leg high. Set the foot in between the hands. Wherever you are, you rise up, warrior two. Find your breath, inhale in, exhale out. Right hand to the hip, left hand over. You're encouraging it down, try not to shift the hips. And then left hand outside of the foot, right hand mirrors it, back heel lifts. Left hand outside of the foot, send that back leg forward, pyramid chest up. And then back foot meets the front. It's chair, utkatasana. Hands kind of prayer, we turn over to the left. So same thing, guys. If you want to take that crow stance and you've never done it before, lift your heels, spread the fingers nice and wide, arms at that chaturanga stance, and then just start to lift maybe one foot, right? Start with one, and then maybe you start to just play with the opposite foot, you know, whatever works. Just play with it, right? You fall out, that's okay. Last one. Come back through center, extend the hands up towards this guy. Left leg ground, right leg kicks back. Airplane. Take the right toes, drop it to the back of the mat. Deep bend in the left leg. Palm the mat, left knee in. You extend, and then crunch it in. Extend, and then crunch it in. One more time. Crunch it in, hold it, drop your right heel, back heel down. Keep that left leg in towards your chest as close as you can. Left leg knee is bent. Lift that left leg up, left hand up towards the sky. There it is. Now set the left foot to the outside edge of the hand and top of the mat. It's Malasana. Option to play here, right? It could be crow, it could be crane. The only difference, right, with crane, arms are quite straight. Crow, you got that little bend. Work to see if you can get the toes. I'm gonna back up. Work to see if you can get the toes to touch. There it is, yep. And then it's called Mula Bandha, so it's an upward lift from the pelvic floor, out of the head rotating down towards the front. Two more breaths. If you're in that stance or anything else in between, make your way out. And we'll find one more. Drop the left palm, drop the right palm. Take the left foot to the back of the mat, take the right foot. Maybe you hop, it's up to you. Shift it forward, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Finding child's pose. Toes kind of touch knees wide. Hands back towards your heels. Now here's your opportunity. Maybe you just need a moment for breath. Maybe, right? This is a Vino Vinyasa style class. Maybe it's a moment for something else. No judgment here, right? Okay, we're going to take two more. You find what you need in this moment, right? You got two more full breaths. And then when you're ready, not when someone else is ready, when you're ready, we meet at downward facing dog. And then just pedal it out. Find a little bit of movement. We'll get moving here in just a moment. And then we're gonna extend that right leg up towards the sky. You know it, it's knee to nose. Inhale to extend up towards the sky. Ball and star, thread it underneath the left arm. Left hand reaches up towards the sky. Now here's your challenge, bend that right leg, and then extend. Bend it and extend it. One more time. Bend it and extend it. Now bend the knee and hold it. Can you lift the hips up one inch high? Left palm travels to the mat. Extend that leg up towards this guy. Set the foot in between the hands. It's peaceful warrior. Really utilize the core. Maybe your left hand now starts to travel to the back of the leg. Notice the difference. And then both hands straddle the front leg. Lift your back heel. Left hand down. Right hand up towards the sky. Right hand outside of the foot, send the back leg forward, pyramid chest to the palm. And then left leg meets the right. It's that chair stance, reach the hands up. On the exhale, take your hands back, come onto your tiptoes. Oh, that's a balance challenge, right? Maybe one heel has to start to drop, and then the other, find that balance, breathe. And then drop your right heel only. Take the left knee into the chest, and extend it back, it's airplane. Grounding through that right leg, left toes tap the mat, and hold the chest low on the hook. Palm the mat, it's right knee to nose. Extend it long, and curl it in. Extend it long, and curl it in. One more time, extend it long, listen, curl it in, hold it. Now switch, hold it, and switch, hold it. To the left, to the right. It's side, 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 speed it up for five. Three, two, when you're ready, right leg only, pull it in. Left hand down, right hand reaches up towards the sky. You're back at that side plank, can you lift the hips a little higher? Start to take the right leg, 
rotate the knee up. It's tree stance side plank. Option to keep tree stance with the leg or lose it. Right palm travels to the mat. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Oh, that's a lot. Downward facing dog, hips back. All right, you nailed it. Nailed it. For those of you that watch that nailed show, right? It always ends up like looking crazy at the end, but they had fun, right? Left leg extends up towards this guy. Exhale, knee to nose. And now to reach it up. Now thread it underneath that right arm. Option to keep the leg lifted, right? Maybe it's grounded. And then if you can't bend a knee and extend, bend it and extend it. One more time. Now you're going to curl that knee in towards you. Can you lift the hips a little higher? Find the obliques. Right palm travels to the mat. Lift that leg up towards this guy. Set the foot in between the hands. Your version of peaceful warrior. Right hand maybe to the hip or back leg, left hand up and over. Both hands start with the front leg, lift your back heel. We twist all familiar postures. Each time we get a little bit more rotation. Left hand outside of the leg, pyramid, chest to thigh. And then right leg meets the left. It's chair, Upatasana. Same as before, can you reach your hands back behind you this time? Take the fingers, find them, accept the pointer fingers. Extend them back behind you. Try to get the palms to touch. Can you lift the heels, but keep the ankles in towards one another? You're not shaking, get there. Chris says he's not shaking. Push him a little further down. <laughs> one more. Drop your left heel only, too. Get that balance, stay on the right tiptoes. Extend the leg back behind you. Option to keep your bind, right? Or maybe you release it. Release the bind if you haven't already. Extend the right leg to the back of the mat. Chest on the back. Palm the mat, it's neat and it. Extend it back and then curl it in. Extend it back and then curl it in. One more time, slow. Left knee in, hold it. Now switch, hold it. And switch and switch. You're right, speed it up. It's left, right, left, right. That's fine. What number is that? We'll call it two. Last one. When you're ready, left leg only curls in. Right palm to the mat, left hand up towards the sky. Now, knee should be facing in the direction you're looking. Start to rotate the knee up towards the sky. Option to keep that tree leg stance if you have it. Left palm to the mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Woo, that was a lot on that side. Send it high and back. Downward facing dog. Walking all the way to the top of the mat, hop, step, float, whatever gets you there. Forward fold, deep in the knees, come up to the stairs. Shake it out, shake your hands out if you need it. If you're like me, one of those sides I was like, oh, this is easy, and the other side was like, a little scary, right? That's okay. Palms face forward, close your eyes, gather the breath. Inhale in, exhale out. One more. And then float the eyes open, round through the right leg. We just did three, right? So now we're gonna do it standing. You're in tree and side plank. Notice the difference. Left foot, curl it to the inside of the standing right leg. Hands can either be in prayer, reach them up towards the sky. Maybe it's a bind behind your back. Press lift. One more. And then everyone, whatever bind you have, just release it. Take the hands down by the side. Take the left knee, curl it back into the chest, and you know where it's going. It's airplane. Take it back. Three. Take your right knee, bend it nice and deep. Now lift your left leg a little higher. Drop the left toes to the back of the mat. Fall on the mat. It's right knee to nose. It's fallen strong. Right hand down, drop your back heel. This time, drop the foot, reach that hand up towards the sky. Now drop your glutes down to the mat, and then take your right foot and meet it to the left. So you're facing the back of the room. Take your hands and reach it out in front of you, and then draw the navel into the spine. The palms are facing in. Take the right leg curled in, foot is flexed. Left leg curled in, foot is flexed. Feet are separated. An isometric hold. And then lean back, extend the legs out long. Now, right leg only pulls, and we crunch up and up. Five, four, three, two, crunch and hold it, extend the leg up towards the sky. Now we pulse five, four, three, two, crunch and hold it like before. And then bend into the knee, come all the way back up. Both knees into the chest. Can you lift the chest a little higher? Left leg only stays bent. Right leg, 
extend as we bring it up. Crunch it up. Five, four, three, two, pulse, hold it. Now left leg up towards the sky. It's five, four, three, two, pulse, hold it. Bend the left leg, beat it up to the right, curl up. You should feel your obliques here. Stay and breathe. Hands kind of prayer at heart center. Chris, you feel it? Yes, no? He says, maybe. Maybe. All right, take your legs, extend them out, and then curl them in. Extend out and curl in. Last one, extend out, and then draw the knees into the chest. We'll just let it go. Spread the legs from side to side. And then bring the feet to the mat. Make sure you can lightly touch the back of the heels. Palm the mat, fingers face forward. Lift the hips up towards the sky. See if you can get the breath to slow here a little bit. Last two. And then last one. Drop the hips down to the mat. Sway the legs out. Sway them from side to side. And then come back through center. Flex the feet. Extend the legs to a three-quarter bend. Toes up towards the sky. Press your palms down. Now lift your hips up. And then release the hips down. Sway from side to side. Just let it go. Left to right. Left to right. And then draw the knees into the chest, hold on to the back of the thighs, rock all the way up to seated. Left shin stacking on top of the right, hands to your knees, lengthen the chest forward, inhale, exhale to roll it back. Two more times, inhale to lengthen it up, exhale to roll it back. Last time here. Exhale, roll it back, hold it there. And then come to that neutral spine, take your palms to the top of the mat, step it back or hop it back. Shift it forward, shout around the upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Hop, step, walk, top of the mat. It's a forward fold. Deep bend in your knees. Come all the way up to stand. Hands rest down by the sides. Tadasana. And just close your eyes for a moment before we switch over to the opposite side. Left leg, when you're ready, it's going to ground. You're going to take your right foot to the inside. Press the knee back. Hands, interlace them behind your back. Maybe get the fingers to clasp. Maybe they're here. You decide it could be hip down. And one more. And then when you're ready, right knee pulled in. Make sure the hands are by the side. Take the leg, extend it long back behind you. Point the toes down, keep your hands reaching back. Now can you bend into the left leg while lifting the right a little high? And then it's palms to the mat, right toes relief. It's left knee to next. Extend that leg underneath that right arm fall and star reach it up. Now drop your hips down to the mat. Left foot meets the right. If you have limited space, that's okay, do what you can. Take your hands and reach out in front of you. Draw the navel into the spine. Take the right leg in, take the left leg in. And just breathe. Now point the toes forward. And you're gonna lean back, left leg long only, and then come up. Lean back, right leg long, and then come up. It's to the left, and up. It's to the right, and up. Left leg long, up and right leg long, and up. Both legs extend out as you come to a hover. Hands come behind your head. It's left elbow, right knee, and you switch. You switch and switch for five, four, three, two, and one. Take both knees, draw them in towards the chest. Lower back imprints on the mat, little sway from side to side. Take your feet and drop them to the mat. Toes are facing forward. Hands come by the sides, palms are down. Just lift the hips up towards the sky. Option to interlace the fingers underneath you at this point, chin off of your chest. Last few. And then release, sway the legs side to side. 
and then bring the legs back to your center, back at that three quarter bend. So legs extend out quite long, flex the toes up towards the sky. Hands come down by the sides, you're gonna lift the hips up. So they're not gonna come up as high. Hips just a little lift, almost about a fist distance. And just notice how that transfers in towards the glutes instead. Last two. And last one. And then drop the hips. Option to sway from side to side or just take a moment, release into the lower back. And then curl the knees back into the chest at a neutral position. Cross the right shin over the left this time. Take your hands to the knees, sit up nice and straight. Inhale, exhale to roll it back. Two more times. Inhale to come up. Exhale to roll it back. Last one, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round away. And then come to that neutral side, palms to the top of the mat, option to hop or step it back. It's a plank. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Hip downward facing dog. Hips come high. Walking all the way to the top of the mat, it's a forward fold. Deep bend the knees, transition up to stand. It's our last standing posture. Roll the wrists out if you need to, just find yourself in a moment of stillness. Keeping that right leg grounded, it's tree stance. Option to stay just like this or start to lift that foot up. Option, keep fingers to big toe. Just start to extend that leg out in the diagonal. It could be right arm working in opposition. We'll hold wherever you are for five, four-ish, three, that's cheating, two. And then draw back in through center, release it, shake it out. Right, so maybe it's like right here, right? So maybe when you do it, that is just here. That's okay. That's what you work with. When you're ready, we move over to the opposite. So left foot grounds, right foot comes to the inside. It's tree stance. Now you could stay like this. You could start to lift that leg up. If you want more, piece fingers to big toe. Find length in the chest and then extend the leg out on the diagonal. Take the left arm work to the opposite. Hold for five, four, three, two. And then when you're ready, slowly come back to center, shake it up. We start to slow everything down. Keep the hands up and then exhale, fold. Halfway up, palm the mat, right leg stays forward, left leg extends back. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Walk the right foot to the corner right edge of the mat. Drop the right hand to the inside of the foot. Palms are facing forward. Option to stay just like this or drop down to the elbows. We start to work into the inner thighs. Hold for about five more. And then take the right knee and just start to open it up. So slightly diagonal on that right corner. Knees squaring off open. And then option to stay on the left elbow or on the left palm, wherever you are. Take the right shoulder and roll it back, reaching back, maybe grabbing hold of the foot here. Think about the shoulder rotating open, hips pressing forward. And last one. Slowly release the back foot, both hands inside of your right foot. Come up if you were down. Walk the right foot back in towards center. Now, you're gonna start to send the hips back, flex the toes up, and hips are gonna sit on your left heel. Bring the hips to the outside of your left leg. Sit up nice and straight, lengthen the chest up, and then exhale, you're gonna start to lean back. If you're like me or you're like Chris, maybe you're not coming back as far. You got issues with your knees and you've got issues with your hips. You can lower, okay, so you can lower all the way down if you want. I've got issues with my knees, my hips, so I'm just gonna stay propped up like this. And last year. And then wherever 
you are very gently make your way out. Roll slightly onto your right hip and then bring your left foot to the inside of that right leg. So it's tree stance. Extend the hands up towards the sky and then fold. We just lower and release. And then come all the way back up. Keep your left foot as it is. Right foot meets it. Bottom of the feet are touching. Hold onto the feet for a little bit nice and close. Extend through the crown. And then exhale, fold and drop the chest forward. And you can sway from side to side. Think about lengthening on that diagonal. And then come all the way back up, stacking right shin over the left, come to sit, roll forward into a table. Take the hips and just sway them from side to side. This is how we're gonna release it out, hips to side, to side. And then come back to your center. You're gonna extend your legs long back behind you and meet at downward facing dog. Walking all the way to the top of the mat, hop, step, foot, whatever gets you there, come all the way up to sit. Working towards the opposite side. Reach the hands up and then exhale fold. Left leg stays grounded. Send the right leg back this time. Drop down to the back knee, untuck the toes. Walk the left foot to the corner edge of the mat. Both hands inside of your left foot. You could stay just like this. Or you could drop down to the elbows. Think about the chest long and forward. You have about five more breaths. Try to relax the shoulders, relax the face. This is my least favorite posture, right? But that's okay, just breathe here, we're in it together. And then take the left knee and start to open it out towards the side. You're gonna stretch a little bit of a different area of the hip. And then either staying on right elbow or coming up onto the right palm, wherever you are, maybe you're already there. So to open that left shoulder, reaching back behind you. It could just be this. If you want a little bit more, reach and grab a hold of the back foot, scrolling in towards the throat. And then releasing that back foot if you have it. Bring that left leg back into the center, press up onto the palms if need be. And then start to straighten out the left leg, flex the toes. You're gonna send the hips all the way back, left heel will slide back with you. Sit your hips on the opposite side of the right foot. Find some length in the spine, try to get both glutes firmly grounded, and then you can start to hinge back to your degree. For me, it's just to my elbows. You decide, it may be a little different on this side. Right knee though should not be lifted, so try to encourage it down to the mat and breathe. And then wherever you are, start to make your way back up. Left foot stays forward. You're gonna take the right foot to the inside of that left leg. Reach the hands up towards the sky and then fall towards the extended left leg. Drop your chest down and forward. And then come all the way back up. Take the bottom of your left foot and meet it to the right. This time walk the feet out a little bit further. So at least one distance away, you get into the lower back and the hips. Pull into the feet or the ankles, lengthen, and now drop your chest forward and down. And then start to make your way back up. 
Palm the mat back behind you, fingers face forward. Bring your right foot to the floor, bring your left foot to the floor. Keep them out long in front of you. Now drop your hips towards your heels. Get into the top of the shoulders as you bend the elbows. And then take your right leg, extend it out long. Take your left leg and extend it out long. Both legs are long and forward. Elbows are still bent. Keep the core engaged. Last two. And last one. Start to lower onto your right elbow and then lower onto your left elbow. Lengthen the chest up towards the sky as you start to tuck your hips back. Drop your head back. Some of you may be able to scoot your hips a little further back. Now the head may start to work towards the mat. Maybe it does. Just stay. Open up through the chest, open up through the throat. And then you're gonna tuck your chin back and towards your chest. Utilize the core and lower all the way down. Reach the hands up and over the head. Find that full body stretch. And then you're gonna take the right leg and curl it in towards you. We start from the beginning, hold on to the back of the leg, curl it in nice and close, and then extend the leg up towards the sky. Reaching maybe a little higher this time. It's a great opportunity just to assess. Flex the toes down towards your chin. Now bend into the knee, release the hold. You're gonna take your arms out into a T. Take your left knee and place it behind the right. Drop the knees over towards your left side. Little bit of a deeper twist here as that left leg curves right leg. And then release the bind. You're gonna keep the right knee in towards the chest. Left leg extends long. Holding on to the outer blade of the foot. It's half happy baby. Left hand to the hip, encouraging it down. It could be piece fingers to right foot. Option to stay like this or extend the leg out longer in the diagonal. Left. And then bend it to the knee, foot up towards the sky. And you're going to release it down. Yikes. So shake it out. Maybe your hips are real tight like mine. Take that left leg, curl it in, hold it onto the back of the leg, and then flex the foot up towards the side. Option, maybe hands walk up a little bit higher. Maybe they don't, right? Just notice the difference from the beginning of the practice. Yes. And then you're gonna bend into the left leg. Take the arms out in T. Thread the right knee behind the left. Knees come in a little closer and then drop the knees over towards the right side. Look out to your left side. And then come back through center, left leg stays into the chest, right leg extends out long. Holding onto the outer blade of the foot or peace fingers to big toe, it's half heavy baby, right hand to your hip, encouraging that leg down. And then start to open, maybe extend the leg out on the diagonal to the left, maybe not right, you could just stay right. And then last leg moves third. Reach the hands up over. Final posture is here. Take your knees and curl both of them into the chest. Option full happy baby or hands underneath you. Extend the legs up towards the sky or shoulder stand. If there's something else that you want, transition to that. You could flex and point wherever you are if you're with me or just find complete stillness. Blood moving away from the feet towards the rest of the body. Just as we did at the beginning of the practice, settle back into the breath, full inhalations, full exhalations. And last, you start to notice the blood flow moving away from the feet at this point, if you haven't already.
And then taking the legs wherever you are, slowly start to release out of them. Hand, hands are underneath you, release those. Feet to the mat, bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees up. One hand rests on the belly and one hand rests on the heart. Inhale to the count of four. Exhale to the count of four. Big breath in to the count of four. Big breath out to the count of four. Continue on your own. <laughs> And taking one final breath, just like this. And making your way back to that neutral breath. And then taking the hands, rest them down by the sides, palm <coughs> face down as you start to close off the energy, extending the legs out long, finding your Shavasana, closing your eyes. If you're ready to come out, by all means, start to make that transition. I want to leave this with somewhat of an open ending for those of you that wish to continue on with your Shavasana and stay within the space and stay within this moment. I invite you to do that. Take as long as you need. For the rest of us, coming up to a seated position, hands in front, heart center, closing your eyes. Bowing your head towards your hands. Take one final inhale in and one final exhale out. Namaste, I hope you have a great rest of your day.